I want to share with you what we have done and what we are doing at um, Transylvania University of Brasov to attract and also uh, reward talents. I won't insist on the mission of the university, which is there and can be read, but uh, I would tell you that is the largest university in central Romania with 18 faculties, nine technical, nine non-technical, more than 20,000 students, and the university which built recently the largest research institute of a Romanian university uh, with support from the European Union. Um, it was an 20 million euro investment uh, in structural funds plus about the same amount from our university. Um, uni the university on a medium term has three strategic objectives which are uh, projected uh, here on the screen and I will insist on the first one which is increasing the, edu the educational and scientific performance of the academic staff and um, for us uh, to create and develop a framework that would Attract and then retain talent is a priority and therefore we developed internal programs funded by the university uh, both on recruiting a national and international uh, level talents and also uh, on rewarding them. We started with the national pool, so we developed five years ago a program to attract the best students from the high school, the best graduates who wanted to uh, get admitted in a university. And actually we have a program for valedictorians. We started five years ago with 12. And last year we got, we get, uh, we got uh, 52. So actually they are the best graduates of their high school. And uh, they have chosen our university. What we offer them, access to our facilities first, to all our facilities, research facilities, and uh, also we offer them laptop accommodation, uh, free meals. Uh, also, we organize, um, I would say, interesting visits to the world-class university. For example, those who graduated bachelor and were the valedictorians and decided to follow a master program in our university. Uh, this autumn we'll visit um, several universities from the Ivy School, Ivy League in the uh, US uh, and also a couple of European uh, universities. And we noticed in these five years that uh, the program became quite popular and we are happy that good human resource prefer to stay in Romania and study in Romanian university as um, getting a meeting and choosing a, um, a Western university or an American university was uh, and is still quite, quite a, a trend among the best uh, high school graduates in my country. Also, we decided to try to attract international students and honestly we focus on developing countries, on less developed countries than Romania. And I always use the public meetings to mention that although Romania is among the poorest country, uh, countries in EU, 84% of the population of this globe live in poorer condition than my, the people in my country. So, Romanian university might, might be a target for such, uh, for such uh, countries. Therefore, we focus our scholarships because we created uh, a scholarship. It is called Transylvania Academica Scholarship for uh, such students from non-European countries, from developing countries. We offer them uh, free tuition, accommodation, and depending on the study cycle, bachelor or a master or PhD between 180 and 300 euros per month. Per month. Uh, also, we created a, a several programs, and I won't uh, go into details here, to attract uh, young researchers and also uh, experienced researchers and professors from various countries. We started this program uh, four years ago, and every year we have uh, applicants from various parts of the world and we are happy that they could share with our staff and students uh, their experience. 
probably the most relevant program I'm proud about is the fact that we are the only university in Romania which developed a salary system based on performance according to a set of research and teaching criteria. So, according to the legislation for each academic position from assistant to full professor, there is a level of salary which is uh, established by the national legislation. But apart from that, we started eight years ago um, and according to the legislation we had at that time, it was possible to offer this increase in salary only from our own resources, not from the money we get from the government. So we started to reward the research outputs, especially publication articles, index in web of science. Also the project proposals, which got minimum 80% of the maximum score, even if the project was not funded. Uh, we consider that if you get that score, it's a good one. And if you are not success successful this time, next time it might be successful. Um, and um, three years ago, because there were discussions and there are several rectors here and you know the endless discussions, why do we reward research and we don't reward teaching, which is our main goal and blah, blah, blah. So we introduce an indicator, which is a teaching quality indicator and actually is the evaluation done by all graduates from an academic year. So all of them have to answer to one simple question, which was the professor you appreciated the most during your studies. And the top 20% get a increase, a monthly increase in salary of 175 euros. You have here the values for each indicator that which we consider. And every uh, January, we assess the previous year uh, activity and establish the level of salary for the current year. So this is an annual, an annual, if you want, variation of salary according to the performance in the previous year. It's not in the paper I, we submitted, it's not in this present presentation, but I can tell you that in eight years, we increased by four times the scientific production of our community, although the number of professors and researchers slightly decreased. Um, then we offer um, our colleagues um, various opportunities for mobilities uh, on different purposes, either research or to put together project proposal or other uh, reasons. Uh, and especially for PhD students, I don't know how many countries in Europe or in US are offering 2000 euro per month for a PhD student to get a mobility abroad. The maximum period is three months. Um, and also uh, we allocate money for um, internal projects. So the university is launching the call and we have dedicated teams either for young researchers or for... Um, we, in one year, we also decided to work with local community, with the local authorities and try to sort out some of the uh, challenges they had, so we focus on their priorities. So the call were, the call was focusing on the priorities of the local authorities, I mean the county council and also the lo local council of uh, Brasho. Um, probably one also of the um, most important program for us is the one dedicated to students. Uh, every year, in the recent year, we allocated 1 million euro for projects proposed and implemented by the students. The maximum value of a project is 100,000 euro and they could get scholarship, which in my country, I don't know how is it uh, in other countries, tax-free, uh, up to 30% of this value. We set the priorities, I mean the university, for example, last year was the digitalization, green campus, and also adapting the teaching process to specific conditions, uh, whatever those conditions uh, are. It was the case of COVID, but we didn't restrict it to COVID. And uh, we had around 40, 42, I think there were 42 proposals. We selected 10, you can see some of them here, but probably this is 
the the most interesting one. It's a mobile application developed by the students. Uh, it's connected to all our databases. So each of them could get, of course, with the username and passport, institutional username, username and passport on their smartphone, personalized data, like their marks, their exam, uh, exams, um, also the taxes they have to pay and it, type of tax and we have agreements with the bank so they can pay directly from the application uh, of course the menu at the university restaurant various announcements notifications and so on so it's an application developed by the students and which is very useful for them it is maintained by the students together with our staff and uh, i can tell you that in the first year out of around 20,200 students, uh, 18,500 downloaded. So um, I gave you just few ideas about the ideas what we do in the university, uh, either to attract talents, especially young talents, but also to reward the performance. And I've been in this position as rector now for more than 10 years. And I can tell you that although we are facing financial pro problems or technical problems, sometimes the most challenging um, aspect for me as a rector, and I'm sure for you is different, was the human resource and is still the human resource. Therefore, I think we should concentrate on human resource and also, as long as we don't develop a system in which performance is rewarded and make a difference between those who perform and those who don't perform, we will still be, even after I get retired in conferences, discussing how to improve the performance of our university. So I think this is the key point. Make the difference between those who perform and those who don't perform. Thank you.